another important relation of the stomach is the stomach bed which is one of the most important point because sometimes uh, the uh, short note may come uh, from the stomach bed and may be asked in the viva examination what do you mean by stomach bed and what are the structures forming the stomach bed the term stomach and bed two word means stomach is having one bed so what is this bed and how the bed is formed that is there is no pillow no bed cover is there but instead of bed cover and pillow we are there are so many visceras there that all these visceras they are separated from this posterior inferior surface of the stomach suppose they are all visceras here this is one viscera this is another viscera all the viscera are there like this so so many viscera are there this is stomach so now the stomach bed is formed by all these viscera then what are the viscera forming the stomach bed this is a question when you are asked to write a short note of stomach bed we have to define the stomach bed first then you, you have to name the anywhere the structures forming the stomach bed and lastly you have to draw one diagram then what is stomach bed the before going into the structure of stomach bed i must clear what do you mean by stomach bed it is the structures on the posterior inferior surface of the stomach on which the stomach lies and they are separated from the posterior inferior surface by lesser sac that means the structures are there and the stomach is there in and in between these two there is a space that space is called lesser sac lesser sac is one of the peritoneal sac in front of this stomach is the greater sac and behind stomach is the lesser sac so all the structures forming the stomach bed they are separated from the posterior inferior surface by means of lesser sac except the spleen which is separated from the stomach by the greater sac otherwise all the structures by lesser sac but the stomach bed is formed by the structure when the person is in supine posture so three terms are important one term is that related to the posterior inferior surface number one number two the structures forming stomach bed separated from the stomach by the lesser sac and number three and all the structures will be there when the person is in in supine posture when the person is prone position that means stomach is like this now this surface becomes stomach bed not this one then what are the structures and uh, roughly you know the, here is a diaphragm so this diaphragm makes an impression on the posterior inferior surface in the upper part and remaining part it is covered by so many structures if i keep it here on the posterior side you will get the anterior surface of the kidney then supraarial gland then anterior surface of the body of the pancreas transverse mesocolon left colic flexor then splenic artery which is passing behind the stomach into the spleen can you, because spleen is here so splenic artery will pass behind the stomach into the spleen so splenic artery will be here on the posterior side so there are so many structures for with the stomach bed i am telling you one uh, uh, mnemonic so that you can remember the structures in the stomach bed doctor supratik sen kindly save my patient can i read all these terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 more or less these structures forming the stomach bed now what are these the diaphragm this d stands for diaphragm and it is obviously the left cross of the diaphragm more specifically left cross of diaphragm then suprotic when s that is splenic artery and this splenic artery is the tortuous artery and it is a one of the branches of the celiac tract 
then sen again s that is suprarenal gland suprarenal gland suprarenal gland and it is the left suprarenal gland all the structure on the left side because stomach it is on the left side mainly so left suprarenal gland then kid kindly k there is a kidney which kidney which kidney pitha yes left kidney which surface should be there if it kidney is here and this is stomach is there then which surface of kidney anterior surface so this is the kidney you must say anterior surface of left kidney then save another s this is the splenic flexor splenic flexor means it is the left colic flexor when transverse colon towards the left side it forms a bend or flexor then become descending colon that bending or flexor is called the left colic flexor or splenic flexor that is splenic flexor or left colic flexor then my again m means mesocolon which mesocolon transverse mesocolon and last but not the least is p p for pancreas 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 having uh, four parts head neck body and tail so we are going towards the left side the body will come so this is the anterior surface of the body of the pancreas but more specifically you must see the left cross of diaphragm tortuous splenic artery anterior surface of left suprarenal gland anterior surface of left kidney then splenic flexor or left colic flexor transverse mesocolon and anterior surface of the body of the pancreas besides this and all these structures they are separated from the stomach by means of lesser sac but spleen may come in contact with the posterior anterior surface forming a part of the stomach bed but that should be separated by the greater sac not lesser sac this is the difference if you like this video please click on the like button and share it to your friends and of course subscribe it thank you very much.